Hey guys, Michelle here from Cushell Creations. And about a month and a half ago, I showed you my first ever folio that I constructed and put together. And now I'm able to provide you with another walkthrough. Um, but this time it's embellished and all the photos that I wanted to put in it are in it because I'm gifting this to, one of, to my best friend. So I wanted to just show you briefly some of the things I did. Um, I did go through my stash most of the time because the paper pad only had like one or two cut apart sheets of their 12 by 12 and obviously that didn't give me enough to embellish with. So some of the things you see could be mix, mix match from different um, collections or from decades ago. Uh, it's crazy to say that, but it's true. So up here in the front, I kind of just use a remember um, ephemera bit and then I piece together and overlap some of the pattern paper from the collection. I also used some of these old um, flowers. I don't know if any of you ever came across this, probably a good 15 years ago, but these are like my remnants of them. Um, they used to come in like plastic tubes that you would find at Michael's. So I don't know if I'm showing my age on that, but <laughs> I went through that and I thought that these colors kind of went through, um, went with the collection, so I did that. And then when we open it up, I do have this big, um, gusseted pocket on the left hand side and so what I did was I went through whatever didn't fit into um, the signatures or the side pocket sleeves and I put together um, just some little like postcards or some little uh, open enclosures um, with the cut aparts that were in the collection kit and I matted it with um, the paper as well so just really briefly whether it opens straight up like this one or it's just flat and it's a turnover I didn't really embellish it too much I just wanted to be simple mainly because I didn't want to bulk up the album so they just live in there and then over here to the right hand side this is myself and my best friend and um, I have a little I guess it's mainly to keep the flap closed um, but this one is, again, just a turnaround piece. You open it up, and then there's another picture. Here's a sleeve, and shares another tidbit. Again, I didn't want to embellish it too much because I wanted it to go in and out of the pocket. Here on the left-hand side is flat, and it just has um, a picture with a memory. And then here on the right, <laughs> In our office, we used to do um, dress up for every year and we worked together for 20 years. So <laughs> we have a lot of memories. So I had to figure out which ones were the ones to keep in the album because there's obviously tons. Um, but I like how it says, yes, that's what you said. Uh, so I did some inking around the ephemera bit. And again, these I just found through my stash. I don't know where the actual envelope is because they're quite old but um i kind of use these throughout i did find a stamp set sorry about that i did find a stamp set believe it or not at the dollar store and so this went perfectly with the collection and what i basically did was stamp the image on white cardstock and just use color pencils and then fussy cut around them so you might see these throughout the album so when we open up the, the magnetic flap here, you basically will see, um, I'll, I'll hold this up, little stamp there. And then these were our go-to spots for work. And then we have our Halloween costumes. And then we have another sleeve here, her precious doggy. And then we turn it again. And then I got these stickers at the dollar store and I backed them on black cardstock and then kind of turned it into a pocket. So this flap didn't really have a pocket. And then what I did was I had these little tiny pictures and I put them as two little tags. So there's still room for her to add more pictures, but I kind of wanted to make it cutesy, I guess. I hope that's still a word. And so um, open up the flap, we went to Disney one time as our department. And then here on the right hand side, I did the same concept again. Just a little, little thing. Then here is a tag. 
Now this here, what I did was, I was actually torn as to what to do. So I just took the stamp and this is how it comes, right? When you buy it. Instead of taking everything apart, I just took the backing off. Ink this sucker up with whatever color you want. And I just attached it, obviously not with the picture, but I just attached it and then I inked it again and attached it again. So it basically gave you that um, wallpaper effect and I didn't have to worry about the placement because you can obviously see it kind of looks vintage or distorted and no one needs to know that that wasn't your intention, right? So just wanted to show you that little thing that I, I did randomly and hopefully this can go right back where it belongs. You know, when you don't go in and out of these things often, it kind of gets stuck. There we go. Or not. Okay, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> um, so then here is a side sleeve. And these are our adventures in the office. I'm sure everyone has those types of adventures going on. And this is when we went on a New York trip together, her family and my family. And then here um, is a flap that's magnetic, holding it together. And I will go little by little. So here's a flap and just office shenanigans. And here's a snapshot of our memories. And here's another one. And here's one of celebrating her birthday at the office. And then of course, when we went to New York. So again, it was just adding a little bit of fun and memories with our embellishments. And then here's another sleeve with her and her family. And then we come over here and I just decided to put this together. It kind of looks like one of those um, booths, those photo booths. So I did that. And that is about it. So I hope you enjoyed my little share walkthrough of my completed album. Again, I did leave some space open so she can add her own photos if there was any photos she wanted to add and there is still room to continue doing that. So I hope you liked my video and if you did, I would love for, me, for you to hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe so you get notified of future content. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Again, thank you so much for watching and taking the time to um, see what I'm, I'm working on. And I will catch you on the next video. Have a good night.